I'm Leandra from Paparazzi and I've got three new stamps to show you today for the 2016 new product release and these are part of the Emma Godfrey collection. So let's take a look at those stamps, they're available from your favourite Paparazzi stockist now but I want to show you some stunning samples with them. So as you can see, Emma's stamps fall under the Eclectica collection. Um, it, the Eclectica series has a whole lot of different designers under that collection. And Emma's are very useful for journaling. They're great for quick and easy cards. And she's got some fantastic quotes and things on them. So we've got three gorgeous sets here to show you. I'm going to start with set 16 and run through some samples for you. Um, I'll let, just let you have a quick look at the other two sets first. You can see there's some really big geometric elements and uh, Emma's designed these so that they could be used to create flowers but equally they're so versatile for backgrounds and, and all kinds of other um, crafting ideas. So let's start with samples from the first one, plate 16. Now this element here is quite an obvious um, flower type element but it can be used in all kinds of mixed media methods as well. So for example, this sample here is by a friend of Emma's called Kim, and she's got a beautiful little series of fragments here that she has stamped um, the flower onto and used um, three or four different colours of our paint. For all the samples you'll notice the same colour way has been used. So we've got um, Caribbean Sea, Captain Peacock, Cherry Red and Coral. Coral's one of our new colours and they're just a gorgeous colour combination together. On this sample here she's also got beading um, that she's sewn onto, oh, I think she's sewn it on, yeah, or she might have just glued them on there, but anyway, it's gorgeous little additional, just to give a bit of texture and dimension to what she's done. And even just a simple tag, what a great idea that is. If we look at some samples from um, Gabrielle Price, Gabby often writes for us on our blog. And so she um, does lots of samples with our, stamp, with our stamps, but she particularly loves Emma's collection. She's always saying how much she enjoys working with them, and she does a lot of journaling as well. But you can see here she's done some cards, and she's cleverly turned the centre of the flower here into a little bird. And she's used the edges of the flower to create little tail feathers and a little wing, which is so cool. And on this sample here, she's taken that into another direction as well, and she's created a fish. So she's used the petals around the edge of the flower to create scales for the fish, which is just fantastic. And she's kept that same overall shape of the center of the flower. Well, you can see other little stamps that are on the, this, the series here with, um, just like for example this, this stamp here. That can be used as a stalk for flowers but also it's just really good how she's used it to create a border. And then we've got a couple of samples here from Tracy Scott. She's done a little ATC which is quite dimensional, very layered. Um, so this is raised off the background there. But she's also done this amazing sample here. And um, Tracy's very well known for drawing faces, um, and it's something that she's been teaching in um, one of our UK magazines recently, and she has a DVD out on drawing faces, along with um, a couple of our other artists that we work with. And um, so she's turned the flower into this fantastic face, with a lovely little sort of frilly surround. So it's just brilliant. Love how she's um, gone on to draw the rest of the body, um, and then just created a typical mixed media um, creation here, which would be quite, e quite often seen in a journal. She's also cut up the words and layered them on. And then this sample here that Emma's made is on a canvas. So she's created one of her backgrounds, she often uses her fingers to spread colour around. And lots of the other little stamp elements that you'll see on the other plates have popped up on this as well. Um, and she's even put a little bit of treasure gold on the centre of the flower there. So if you can see the, the shine on the centre there, that's a bit of treasure gold on top. So it's a beautiful stamp set, very versatile and lots you can do with it. So onto plate 17. If you take a look at this you can see that there's a lot more um, square elements but it's still the same concept of using um, 
layers to create cards or you could use these for flowers as well um, and you'll see that in some of the samples coming up. So these are two samples by Kim Osborne and she's done a very um, sort of you know simple background just lots of little brush strokes and it's nice that you can see the texture of the paint as it's mixing there and then just over stamped that with some of these other elements very simple lovely quote on there I love the little dots she's put under to really make that pop and the same here so just using the leftover paint on a brush to create a very simple card so effective and very striking here's an ATC from Tracy Scott um, again she's gone for a dimensional aspect layering up all the squares and in this sample here she's created a flower garden giving all of the squares their own little stalks and um, turning that into a row of flowers. Really nice, I really like that. And I also like how she's actually cut out around the edge of these little spiky guys here so that it's kind of created a frame for that larger square. And then uh, Gabrielle, again she's also used that tiny little stamp here to make a um, stalk for this larger flower and just even notice how she's used in the background here all of the little squares to create an interesting background and then on this one lots of fun here lots of layering cutting out and layering these onto a background and it's just so stunning very effective and you can see she's managed to fit the words inside the square and then this one here is a card by Emma herself and she's created a background, stamped and embossed all of these um, designs here, then she's added colour to the embossed bits and then cut a strip and put that, mounted that onto the card and she's also embossed in black there, the greeting. And then the final set that Emma's created is this one here. So very geometric which has been a popular trend this last year lots of strong geometric shapes and I like the way she's got um, other elements here which we would commonly call mark making type elements and, and this one here also can be used as a leaf which is handy and that one's by Kim and then a couple more by um, Tracy so another little ATC and then she's got this one here another using them as flowers, layering them up to with the stalks and everything. And you can see how Tracy's used the stamps in the background too, the same stamps, just blue on blue. And finally we've got this from Gabrielle Price. It's just so striking that colour combination of the blue and coral. And on this one here she's actually used our crackle glaze in the background. So she's got uh, coral underneath and then she would have put a layer of crackle glaze and then Caribbean Sea on top and so when it cracks the coral pops through. And she's got a bit of glossy accents there in the middle as well just to make those elements pop out. And another card from Emma matted, layered and you can see here how she's used this element to create the leaf and so she's just added a line around the outside there and that makes a nice little rosette. And finally from Emma we've also got some minis to show you. So Emma has created a couple of different types of minis. First of all she's got four sets which have got phrases on them which are really useful for card making, um, just basic everyday phrases that we use a lot, but it's nice that she's added a little border strip onto these as well so that you can use those um, in other ways, it doesn't just have to be the quotes, these are going to come in handy with all of the other stamps that you've seen today. And then in addition she's created these great um, sort of more background type image stamps and these will be really handy for just adding more detail into your background but also I like this one here as a border and um, and the leaves of course so useful with all the flowers that she's made so these are a nice addition the minis always come on easy mount um, just like the stamps 
are always on foam, so are the minis. Uh, all of our stamps are ready trimmed, you just peel them off the index sheet and they're good to go and then you can store them again on the index sheet once you've finished using them. So thanks for joining us here for another new product release for 2016. You can find all these products now at your Paper Artsy Stockist, either online or in store. And uh, we look forward to sharing some more new products with you very soon. Yeah.